thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. This has been so requested and I have finally managed to get around and film this. It has taken me six hours but I've done it and I am so excited because there is so much like spring capsule transitional looks that I've been absolutely dying to share with you guys over the last couple of weeks I've just been like I need to get around to filming it and I've put my rail together and actually this worked as a really nice little bit of kind of inspo for myself and kind of getting those capsule pieces back out that had been in storage been on like a rail in my room that I hadn't touched in the longest time and it's been really nice kind of doing it on a day where the sun's actually out today in Brighton and I feel like spring is on the way it's on its way it's gonna be warm soon i am very excited for spring fashion it's probably my favorite season so i feel like i thrive in the spring and summer months so i'm excited to get into this video share some of the looks before i start i just want to talk a little bit about accessories and those capsule accessories for me personally and ones that i think are essentials Firstly, just the classic black sunglasses. Whatever kind of shape that you love, these two for me are my favorite shape. I love like an oval classic with accent kind of gold detailing just because I wear a lot of gold jewelry. And then I also love big frames and this cat eye kind of frame that ASOS do. These, I've had them for like 10 years, but I think they keep bringing them back out. So hopefully I can link those or similars down below for you guys. And then with bags, I always make sure I have like the classic neutral bags, whether they're like beige or neutral cream and then the classic black bags as well. I have my evening bag and then my day bag. I do mix and match the longer strap one for evenings, but I tend to wear this little one here for most of my evening looks and date night looks and things. But they're just kind of those capsule bags that I wear for all seasons and I love and they go with absolutely everything whether you style a lot of color or a lot of neutrals they just work with it all and colored bags this is definitely not for everyone this is definitely not a capsule wardrobe piece for everyone but I have to say which you may notice here on the rail color for me especially pastel yellow and pastel pink is actually a big capsule wardrobe piece because I wear those colors all seasons I find that they really dress up my favorite kind of outfits that are more neutral and I want to brighten those looks and and especially in the spring summer months I love elevating any of my outfits with colored bags you'll see me do this a lot in lots of my videos coming up over the next coming months or previous videos from last year that I filmed I wear a lot of color when it comes to any of these seasons and yeah these bags here I've had for a couple of years and I wear on repeat and this one in particular is an absolute fave so you'll see this styled lots of different ways in this video but I do want to mention that obviously these aren't capsule for everyone but for me they are so I do want to share them and I will leave linked like similars to these down below. So usually in these videos I would get out the pieces and kind of share them with you all but there's just so much on this rail so I'm just going to kind of stand beside it and share the looks here because I have styled them like multiple different ways on the screen a few of them so hopefully it works as little bits of inspiration for pieces in your own wardrobe. So first up styling a classic capsule wardrobe white tee, blue jeans and trench coat. Lots of you guys actually ask me which trench coat shade do I wear the most do you invest in a beige a cream a black and more kind of khaki navy kind of colored one I would personally say that a beige one for me looking out on other people's wardrobes and my own wardrobe would be that it's the most versatile for the spring months moving into autumn and winter as well I wear my beige one the most because I feel like it goes with lots of those brown neutral tones but also lots of those kind of beiges and creams that I tend to wear and those pastel colors as well so for me although this is my like lighter cream one that I have I only invested in that one this year and then my beige one I've had for around seven years and I've just always worn it on repeat but I just felt like this season I did want to invest in a lighter shade like like coloured one just that it would go with more of those pastel colours in my wardrobe but blue jeans you can never go wrong with I feel like we've all got a pair in our wardrobe and a classic white tee as well just goes with absolutely everything also white trainers completely forgot about those but they are also a piece that I wear with most of my outfits most of my everyday comfy kind of looks I go and gravitate towards these these are the New Balance CT302s and they are so comfy the most underrated New Balance trainer I think I don't think they're spoken about enough at all and I literally absolutely just love the sponginess to them the shade the shape I like the little kind of platform sole that you've got to them and they just go with absolutely everything in my wardrobe so they are definitely that piece that I gravitate towards for everyday looks the most now next outfit this is definitely a transitional one but I wanted to share the blue jeans again with my little mini Uggs now these are definitely again not that piece that everyone has in their wardrobe but if you've got your favorite pair of warm comfy shoes 
boots, whatever it is. I've been finding these are ones that I've been wearing the most the last couple of weeks, especially as we're moving into like warmer days, but we've still got those chilly mornings or when the sun goes in, I just need something comfy, something warm on my feet. And I'm just gravitating towards these for most of my like brunch dates and things like that at the moment. And then stripes, as you can tell, I'm in my stripes as well, my striped knit, but striped tops, striped tees, long sleeve striped jumpers, whatever it is, whatever you love most wearing. I personally love like a long sleeve knit and then a short sleeve kind of cropped tank top kind of styled like knit top kind of thing. God, that was the most long winded thing I've ever said, but you get what I mean. I wear those the most and I feel like stripes just scream spring. They just really do. I don't know what it is about them, but you'll end up seeing so much more kind of stripes and different kind of abstract prints kind of coming out this time of year. And I love how they look with trench coats. I feel like trench coats always come in those kind of classic shades and a striped tee or knit just really elevates the look and gives it a little bit more something something from that basic kind of everyday outfit. Now for warmer days I wear my dad's sandals so much. I have actually had these coming up to eight years. I have them in the black and this like nude beige toned coloured one and then also a navy and I feel like they're coming to the end now. They are like very much worn down at the back and the front but I absolutely love them and live in them and for me they are definitely that capsule piece for the warmer days in spring and then moving into summer and then here is the beige trench coat that I've had for the longest time and I literally love it. I feel like these two together is one of my favourite outfits and then just doing a classic white tank top and blue jean combo again for an everyday look for the warmer days or the days where you're out in the sun but like me you live in Brighton and it's a little bit windy and you need a little extra layer I always feel like this is great for that and then moving into like the warmer days into summer I do actually wear denim shorts with this trench coat a lot as well especially being in the UK I feel like you sometimes just need that added layer with most of those looks and yeah this one is one of my faves so with all these pieces that I've had for a while I will leave link down like multiple similar down below just in case you guys are looking to invest in those pieces too. Now I just wanted to check in here how I style those kind of pastel pops of colour. Like I mentioned I really love pastel pinks, pastel yellows and layering up with my trench coat with blazers is literally one of my favourite things to do this time of year. You could easily swap out the sandals here, add trainers and that's a perfect kind of transitional look for those kind of cooler days that we have at the moment and then when it starts getting slightly warmer I tend to do this a lot just even if I'm heading into London for the day and I want to have the option maybe that I'm there all day and I like to take the trench coat off but then in the evenings it gets cooler then I always have that added extra layer but I find that this is a really nice way for any of those neutral outfits just elevating it by adding pops of colour to the look and whatever kind of coloured accessory bag you guys may have or if you're looking to invest in one definitely go for one that goes with most of your knits and your blazers or your jumpers and jackets because then it kind of goes with absolutely every outfit for every season and then can really bring those like day looks to life but then also can bring those evening looks to life and sometimes you can match it with your lipstick if it's like a red bag and things like that and I feel like it really brings those outfits to life a little bit more for date nights too. Next outfit, this amazing denim cord. I mean... I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. I am chucking this one in here as one that I personally wear a lot in the spring summer months. Although this is a new set in my wardrobe, I love a double denim combo and I love a cord. I feel like you can get so much wear out of them. There's like all that mix and match styling, style the jeans multiple ways. You can style the jacket with dresses by itself. Denim jackets are just great and I love this one in particular because you've got the option to take the belt off or have it on so you could easily kind of have more of those tailored cinched in waist kind of outfits but then also just have it as that classic denim jacket over mini dresses with your sandals in the warmer days and then maybe even tights loafers little black roll neck underneath for those cooler days as well but just how stunning are these pieces I'm literally obsessed with them and it also comes in a tan and they also do a very very similar white set as well online so I'll leave all links to that down below but just elevating it here a little bit with the pastel bag but of course you could style with your favorite neutral bag or favorite pastel colored bag in your wardrobe too. Now fake leather jackets for me are that piece for all seasons 
all weathers, whatever the, whatever the day, I will always be like, what do I wear this evening? And I always gravitate towards my fake leather jacket, especially for like pub evenings, going out with friends. If I wanna layer up in winter, I do hoodies and knits and things like that. But in the spring, summer months, I love doing with a classic pair of blue jeans. It could be even a white tee. I've done a black tee here just to kind of tie in with the converse and do that two color rule just so that I'm allowing the jeans to kind of stand out as the main focus point of the outfit, but have that really cool chic everyday styled fit and this is something I'd wear for shopping days brunches but mainly for me being in Brighton I do like a lot of kind of pub lunches and like friend pub evenings and I'm always like what do I wear that feels cool and put together and without a doubt this has always saved me when I'm unsure what to go for and it is one of those pieces that I have invested in and I'm so glad I did because I've got so much wear out of it over the last five years and I actually don't know what I do without this jacket because it's seen me through most of those evenings most of those days when I've needed it and especially when it's raining in Brighton I tend to do a hoodie and this jacket and it's just great. Again, styling the jeans again with this striped knit that I'm in. Talking of striped knits, I feel like, again, stripes are such a great classic spring piece. This could even be a classic kind of coloured knit that you have, a neutral knit that you have, just whatever knit you feel like you get the most wear out of. I feel like they always look so great with blue jeans, Converse or chunky trainers, beige trench coat and then again of course I've done the pastel bag but you could do any bag in your wardrobe and it just creates that really easy chucked on transitional everyday fit that is warm and you have that little added layer if you need it. I also love styling this just by itself about the trench coat on the days that are slightly warmer because you can easily layer up with thermals if you just kind of wanted to show off that favourite knit of yours. And then I've also styled it with a blazer here. So for me a blazer is that investment piece that I literally scream about to all my friends and family that you need a neutral coloured blazer in your life like it's just the best piece for all seasons again and it can be dressed up dressed down I wear my blazers a lot for kind of evening date night looks if I've got any kind of wedding events and things like that I say wedding events if I'm a wedding guest <laughs> I wear a neutral blazer always over my dresses whether they're in spring and summer and I've got that floral or satin dress and they just work so perfectly as that little added layer and then also for every day just tailoring for me is like literally my love I have a whole rail basically solely for my blazers I love them so much and I feel like if you're looking to invest in one going for a black or a cream blazer is definitely a must because they just go with absolutely everything I also have invested in a grey one because I feel like this again goes with lots of those blues in my wardrobe and pastel colours and just adds like a little bit more something something to an outfit now next up white jeans and a white long sleeve top I feel like these can be any kind of neutral coloured jean that you guys have and love I tend to wear my white ones the most so I've chucked them in here as that capsule pair of like neutral colored jeans you could have cream jeans beige jeans tan jeans whatever it is that you feel like go with more of those pieces in your wardrobe for me this is one of the ways that I style these pieces again with added color because that's just what I do in my life but again you could style with those neutrals or beige toned pieces and it creates a really nice kind of everyday fit which does also look great with those like beiges and things like that I just love elevating the looks with like trainers that I love that are that pop of color and bags and then you could also style this with more black accessories which again would look great for every day but just depends what you have more of in your wardrobe and that kind of thing and then like I was saying about knits having knits like this chucked over your shoulders with trench coats is a great way just in case you've got one of those days where the sun's out it's gonna get cold maybe in the evening and you just need that little added extra layer just in case this is something that I do a lot moving into the spring months just because you never know what the weather's going to do. One minute it could be warm when you're sitting in the sun, the next minute it's shady and you're freezing. So this is something I do a lot. Talking of doing it a lot, I'm doing it a lot here with the satin skirt. Again, a piece that is definitely perfect for all seasons, but for spring is my favourite time of year to style it. I love how a satin skirt looks with denim jackets, white tees, trainers, little kind of dad sandals and little cami tops but I also love styling it with trench coats, pops of colour knits and things like that as well and I just feel like it's the perfect everyday piece that makes an outfit feel very put together and very chic 
chic, very glam, and it's just perfect if, again, you're doing those maybe special lunches or dinners, and you wanna have a look that can be easily taken from day into night. I would easily here just chuck out and put on some little court heels, put on a neutral color blazer, and then you've easily got your evening outfit here, or like I've done with the trench coat, the perfect everyday neutral pastel colored fit. And also styling with neutral beige tones, just so you can see another way that I would style it for every day if you don't have those pastel colored pieces and you just wanna stick with the neutrals and like those core classic kind of everyday core accessories, then this is another way that I do it with the white trainers and then the tan neutral bag. I just absolutely love this skirt and I have honestly had it for nearly seven years and it's just one of those ones that I always wear, even in winter, I wear it a lot with high knee boots and little black tops and black blazers. And I've had so much wear out of this. So definitely wanted to chuck this in here as that really lovely piece moving into spring and summer as well. Now, next up, linen trousers, a black blazer, a black tank top, and black dad sandals. Although maybe I just said that, I don't know. My brain is, <laughs> I've been speaking to cameras all day. So if I stumble on my words, that is why. But this kind of like whole outfit for me is, capsule pieces together but styling them separately I do so many different ways so if you guys actually do want to see multiple ways to style like dad sandals loafers linen trousers trench coats whatever it is do let me know and leave a comment down below and I'll get around to filming it because I have so many ways in my head that I would style this this for me is that kind of casual meeting going into London outfit but also great if you've got any girls brunches dinners and you want to feel very glam and chic at the same time I love doing tailored pieces with more of those like casual dress down pieces to so kind of just like doing a little bit of a balanced look with the blazer and the trousers and you can easily take this from day to night with heels which I'll leave a little picture on the screen here just using black court heels a little black bag and you've got the same pieces just easily taken into the evening in an instant which I also love because then it makes those kind of capsule pieces super easy to just tailor to any occasion that I've got going on if I'm especially in London and I'm there all day I don't really want to be carrying loads of different outfit changes if I'm doing a day to night kind of thing so just taking a little pair of quarter heels in a shoulder bag is the perfect way to take a look from day to night. And then like I was saying about layering trench coats with blazers underneath for kind of the cooler days that we have at the moment, this is another way that I would do it with the linen trousers and black detailed accessories. Styling those pastel colors, but again, you could style more neutral blazers, more neutral tones that you might have. You could even put on under here like a little neutral bomber if you wanted, or even a white shirt if you wanted an added layer. I haven't actually included a white shirt in this video just because I personally don't wear one that often. I don't really take tend to get it out of my wardrobe until the summer months when I'm wearing bikinis or shorts and things like that. That's kind of the main time that I wear my shirts, but I do love how they look underneath trench coats as well. So if you tend to wear yours a lot more than I do, then that's also a really nice way of doing it if you don't have blazers in your wardrobe as well. And then another way of styling the linen trousers, white trainers and little tank top is again, just styling with beiges and neutral tones and styling this neutral brown blazer hair just with the taut accessories sunglasses as I feel like that kind of ties the pieces together a little bit more and keeping the cream bag on it just to tie in with the white trainers as well and this kind of balances out the look sticks with that two color rule and those neutral tones kind of styled all together for that really nice everyday fit now this is definitely not a must again but for me this is definitely a must because I feel like investing in a suit and a tailored pair of trousers and blazer is just the perfect thing for all seasons again and something that I wear all year round and investing in this five years ago was one of the best things I did because I wear this to almost every single like city break I go on every special occasion this blazer just comes out when I'm in New York I wore this all the time I love the tailored trousers as well in summer with little sandals and tank tops and then just having a little cap on and things like that when I'm out and about getting a coffee or running errands and then in the spring months I feel like just together they just perfect pieces and then separately as well I wear them all the time especially the blazer with little dresses and things like that even with chunky loafers on little kind of cami smock dresses looks great and then just having the blazer over your shoulders there's just endless ways to style a tailored like cord and I just love this one from Naked Fashion it's lasted me such a long time and it's 
just that really beautiful premium fit and fill. And then because it's me and I love the colour pink, I'm just chucking in a way that I would style my suits in my wardrobe with my trench coats. And again, the colour is not for everyone, but for me, I absolutely love it. And this is just one of those ways for every day that I love styling it moving into spring as well. Now, moving on to the last few outfits, loafers for me and little kind of skorts and blazers or tank tops and skorts and trench coats and things like that. I love together. I love these loafers. I literally found it so hard to find a pair that didn't rub my feet. And these are ones that I had last year in New York from ASOS and they are so comfortable. I swear by them. When anyone asks me like, what loafers do you swear by? What are comfortable? What don't rip your like feet to shreds? These are them. And I think they're still in stock. Like fingers crossed they are because they're around 40 pounds and they're just so spongy. And I love the platform to them. Being like five foot three, I love a platform trainer or shoe. So these are ideal. And I feel like they're ones that I wear mainly in spring and autumn and sometimes moving into winter as well. But definitely in spring, it's my favorite time to style them. I love doing little knit vests and knit jumpers, little skorts and things like that, dressing them lots of different ways. This is just one of the ways with bare legs. And then in the next outfit, which you'll see now, I'm styling with tights just to kind of show you another option for every day and a way that I love styling them. This is definitely for more of those cooler days that we might have styling like my knits with my blazers, as that's just like a really nice way to layer up with any skorts or mini skirts and things like that. And then for the last look, just sharing trench coat, skort, the knit I'm in and the loafers again just to show you another way that I would style those kind of core pieces this is a darker trench coat that I recently got only like four weeks ago and I actually haven't worn it loads yet so I'm hoping I can get more wear out of it the good thing is my sister's worn it loads so that's a good thing about us sharing our wardrobes at the moment is that she gets wear out of it if I don't so that's always handy but like I was saying, I do think a beige trench coat is one that I'd recommend as I feel like it just goes with more and it goes with more of those spring summer colours as well as those autumnal winter colours. So it's one of those pieces you can have for all seasons rather than just going for that completely neutral like black toned coloured trench coat or khaki one which are amazing but definitely look at one that you are going to get like maybe multiple wears out of and things like that. But yeah, they are all the pieces I wanted to share with you guys. I feel like there's a lot in there. There is a lot of different ways that I would also style them. So if you guys want to see any further styling videos on some of these spring transitional pieces, then do let me know. They were personal to me in certain ways, I guess, being capsule spring pieces that I love and wear on repeat and constantly just get out every season that this kind of time of year comes around and it's definitely my favorite so there's going to be lots more spring styling videos coming up I am also doing a trench coat one very very soon and just to kind of end the video I'm going to leave a few extra added outfits just here on the screen just for some inspo for some trench coat styling just in case you are looking to invest in one as well and I'll leave links to similars down below but any questions do let me know and if you're not subscribed already I would love if you guys subscribe to the little YouTube fam and yeah just thanks for your support and being here and I'll see you guys in the next video Lots of love. Mwah. Bye.